Hey, welcome back to Blars. Retro game reviews. We're going to look at Street Fighter 2 for the original Game Boy today. This game was released in September of 1995, and believe it or not, it still holds up pretty well, considering its age and being an original Game Boy game. First, I want to talk about the presentation of this game. In this version, you get to pick from the original cast of Street Fighters, along with the bosses Balrog, Vega, Sagat, and one of my favorites, M. Bison. Giving you a total of nine fighters to choose from which is a good amount, especially in like a Game Boy game, I would think. So, the character portraits look very good. You can tell who everyone is. Even with the black and white data graphics, you can still tell. We don't get the plane animation going from country to country. Just the box highlighting different countries' flags when you go in to fight your different fights. Not really a big deal. I think a smart choice if they had to leave something out. That wasn't going to be missed. When the fight starts, everything looks good. You'll recognize the stages. The character sprites are a great size, and they look like who they're supposed to look like. Bison looks like Bison. Uh, for you, Ken, you definitely can recognize them right off the bat, no problem there. Yeah, another standout of the overall presentation is the music. The stage mu music is all there for the characters, you'll recognize it right away. I guess it's been tweaked a little bit for being on the Game Boy, but it doesn't really matter. You get the feel right away because you hear that familiar music of Street Fighter game, and that's cool, it's there. Uh, the punch and kick sounds, they're not great, but they get the job done. It lets you know that you connected a hit or it's being blocked. So, this kind of standard hit punch sounds, nothing special there. Now, for the gameplay, for a two button system <laughs> being the Game Boy original, the gameplay is great. Only two buttons, I was really surprised how good it did play. The characters have their specials Psycho Crushers, Hadokens, Sonic Booms. Chun-Li kicks, blocks electricity, they're all there. You have one button for punch, the other for kick. The special moves are the same inputs as they are for Street Fighter 2. So, half circle for your Hadoukens, charge back towards for Psycho Crusher, uh, keep tap and punch for electricity for Blanca. So the same inputs you're familiar with, they're right there, the special moves are there, which is really cool, and they look pretty good. So it did a really good job on that, I think. The fights are the fights are fast and fun, just like in Street Fighter 2. So if you're a big Street Fighter fan, I think you would both appreciate what he did here and also enjoy pretty solid gameplay considering 1995 and original Game Boy. I keep saying that because I'm really impressed to how fun the game was, is and how like how much fun I did have playing it. I'm going to give Street Fighter 2 on the original Game Boy a 9 out of 10. It's a great game. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night wherever you are.